Well, here we go. A bit of change of pace here now, Tom. We've got an exhibition match. We had uh, got Lewis Ritson in the red, white, and blue shorts, shall we say? And uh, Tom Young in the black shorts were six two-minute rounds. It's an exhibition match. Doesn't look like much of an exhibition to me so far. Both guys are going all out here. It's all about keeping the skills sharp. Obviously, uh, Ritson will have sold a lot of tickets for this. He's uh, oh. he's got a growing fan base. Although this is only an exhibition, it actually could be a good thing for Lewis Ritson because it, he's been saying all along that he wants opponents to, to fire fire back at him, and that's certainly yeah. what Young's doing here. I think if this if this was a proper sanctioned registered reg, registered contest, they wouldn't have got Young in. It's already looking like good action in, in all fairness. Doubt. It's got a lovely jab, Lewis. I've seen exhibition fights before and they've not been as intense as this. They're really trying to hurt each other here. We've seen Ritson in the past though, win fights purely with his jab. It's such oh. an amazing weapon he's got there. We're well, watching in the previous fight the way Simon Valili steps in with his jab at times. It, you know, it, it, but Lewis Ritson steps in with his jab jab every time the way he steps in with it it's just so much natural weight behind it with Ritson now though it's all just about staying busy and sharpening his tools and, until, until his Brit British title fight because he's man yeah. mandatory for Robbie Barrett British lightweight championship that'd be a cracking fight that will be and it's one which I'd probably make Lewis a, 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 even a slight favourite for I, I really fancy him in that fight personally you just fancy him yeah. <laughs> guilty <laughs> Well, I generally don't like two-minute rounds, but that was a good two-minute round. I enjoyed that. Action-packed. Yeah, I've seen a couple of exhibition bouts before on the bills, and generally it's just been just jabbing from distance, just feinting and moving. But that was that, that, that was like a full-on fight. That exactly. But no one Lewis Ritson, that's just he has he has one gear. Go forward and just and just unload. Oh, oh, what, what an experience for Tom Young as well though. Three and oh, very in inexperienced. Yeah. Think about what he'll learn at boxing Lewis Ritson. British British title ma mandatory challenge. Yeah. It's a great experience for him. Yeah, sometimes these, these experiences uh, are great for you. Sometimes they can, they can take things away from you if, it's, if, 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 he, if, he, if he isn't competitive in there. But He looks like a talent himself, though, Tom Young. He does. A, a three-fight three novice. He's holding his own here against, against Ritson. Ah, oh, lovely flurry of shots from Lewis there. He actually has got a good defence, Lewis, when he, when he uses it, when he thinks about it. 
what he's done well a few times as well is real dip the shoulders and dig that body shot in I was talking to his dad at the press conference and it was like he was saying it's you know he's similar to Glenn Foot type of fighter where it's it's hard to put the reins on these types but it's all they want to do is move forward and put the yeah. pressure on that's, that's what they do you know and you, you don't want to lose that style of fight you just want yeah. to as they move up on levels just add yeah. little tweaks here and there just to I think we actually are seeing some improvements in Richardson from his last fight as well we're seeing a lot more a lot more head movement yeah against Jordan Ellison he took way too many shots and just way too many shots on the gloves as well those shots on the gloves still still have some effect yep. we, we've, seen, we've seen Lewis with some ni nice head movement today got caught with Ooh. a jab there though but came back with two very nice shots oh that left up my old body shot this is a, an aging fight for Young <laughs> see what <laughs> I did there <laughs> not even going to respond to that <laughs> He's got a crack in chin, Lewis Ritson, but sometimes he probably does use it more often than he needs to. Yeah. He's letting the shots go very, very tidily here. You just know Ritson Barrett would be a cracker, wouldn't it? It would be oh. a, such a competitive fight. It would turn into a war. It would. It would. Just, it would. It would be a war of attrition, no doubt. Again, good action in there. It's the most competitive exhibition match I've ever seen in my life. Let's see if the intensity continues here. The referee's having a word. Yeah, he's probably having a word about the intensity here, Tom. I say it's. Yeah, I have I to want say. To have a workout, but it is an exhibition. Those first two rounds, probably the two most intense rounds of exhibition boxing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. That, that was no exhibition we saw in the first two no. rounds, and I think that's what the referee's having a word about here. Which is a shame because. I'd, but I think they both started off quite quickly. So, you know, if you're a boxer and the other guy's hitting you quite a few times in the face with a jab and things, you're going to be, you, you're going to punch back. And you're going to want to stay on top. Oh, you're already seeing a decrease in the intensity of Ritson's work here. Yeah, you can see Lewis is taking something off there now. But his jab still so impressive. Lands it with ease. Just pushes it through the guard of, of, yeah. of Tom Young. So accurate. But those are the basics that you want to see from all fighters, but it's... Obviously, he, he, he worked with Billy Nelson up in Scotland for a year, but he's also, obviously, that, done a lot of training with his dad over the years. And he's still only 23. Yeah. We're, we're, see, we're seeing more of that head movement from Lewis again in, yeah. the, in this round. Stuff that we necessarily, necessarily haven't seen much of in the past. shows that he is still improving with each, with each fight well this is this is an opportunity for him to actually do those things as opposed to train on his toughness and his aggressive style without a doubt of course you're going to work on some of those things in sparring and in the gym but this is it's different under the lights Once again, I must say that I, I am impressed with Young how he's holding his own against against such a classy operator yeah. like Ritson, three fight novice in against a in against a mandatory British challenger. So it's very impressive for Young to make this so competitive. I 
I don't think you'll be wanting to fight Lewis next time out though no yeah I'd agree with you there <laughs> but he has it's, it's probably been a little bit overly competitive for Young's corner Young's team is liking and I think obviously after the word from the referee there Lewis did take a little bit off there but it's, it's a well, great workout for both really when you've got two natural born fighters in there though they can't help themselves can they yeah well halfway halfway there halfway there and it's been enjoyable so far I mean I generally don't like watch, watching women's boxing most of the time because of the two minute rounds I don't generally like, like watching most men's boxing because of the two minute rounds that's why I was happy to see Nick Adams doing three minute rounds last weekend definitely yeah because there's no reason why they can't do three minute rounds in in the modern world you're not asking a woman to do three minute rounds with a man of the same weight it's, it's not apples and oranges you know what I mean totally agree Once again, Richardson starting with a jab again. Oh. Lovely little feint with his jab there and followed it in with a quick right hand. Like I say, exhibition matches are generally like sparring, but under the lights with the smaller gloves. But this is this is like a competitive sparring match. Yeah. With the smaller gloves on. But it's like you say, when you get two natural fighters, the other guy hits him in the face, they're gonna punch him back. We've definitely seen some nice defensive skills from Ritson in this fight. Yeah. There again, Bob, Bob and weaving with the head. That's stuff we haven't really seen from him much yeah. in the past. The thing is, obviously, Lewis had a good, very good amateur career. And it's like, these sort of things he will have been doing in his amateurs, it's just certain things that as he's developed as a pro, they've just sort of fell off a little bit. So it's not like he doesn't have the ability to do these things. But what he's, the things he does do well, he does so well. He's so strong in there. Yep. Throughout this fight, the, the main instruction from from Lewis's corner has been move the head, move yeah. the head. So it proves that that's exactly what they've been working on in training camp. And, it, and if he's going to win the British title against Robbie Barrett, he's going to have to move gonna, his head. Of course he is. It's not just about avoiding the shots. It's if you keep your head still, your opponent gains in confidence because he's got, he's landed, he's landed, he's landed. If you're making a miss, he's, he's going to throw more tentative. He's not going to throw as much exactly conviction or power into his shots. Just because you can take the shots doesn't mean that you should. Shows some very good skills here, though, Ritson. I mean, he's. You know, I don't want to be harsh on Young, but obviously, you know, at the stage of his career, he's he levels above Young. But you still got to go in there and show those skills, and Young shown certainly enough that he's certainly got some ability himself there as well. This would be great experience for Young, without a doubt. We've seen obviously Jay Hughes fight earlier, and he was under more pressure than he's ever been in a pro ring. And we've seen him make adaptations in the third round and the fourth round. Tom Young here. He's under pressure here. He's going to be able to take this back to the gym, work on things, work on movement. It's going to prepare him for five or six fights down the line. Not, not his next fight. Great development for him. At the same point, it's a shame Henry James couldn't make it because that, that did look like a good fight as well. It really did. Henry, Henry James, what is he, five, five unbeaten, I think. Yeah. The last, last five fights, all against undefeated home, yeah. home prospects so he, he would have come here to very much to win against Ritson so I was very, yeah, very very looking forward to watching that fight so it's a shame that he did pull out at such late notice but this is a good sub without this, a doubt th this is a better a better replacement especially you know, as like Lewis got a lot of fans turned up here today they're not going to go home complain and say oh it was just an exhibition match it's it's been very it's been very competitive 
although Richardson has clearly won every single round, it's still been very competitive. He's, he's had he, Young's been constantly firing shots back, giving Richardson something to think about. Yeah, he's been giving them shots to avoid. He looks so good, Richardson, when he throws his shots in, in, in threes and fours, doesn't oh. he? It's just his control and his balance and sh the way he shifts the weight with the shots. You get maximum impact with minimum effort. So it's not taking huge things out of himself. We've seen Tom Walsh in the first fight of the night tonight really loading up with the shots and because he didn't get the finish he kind of, you know, he didn't gas himself fully but he'd take quite a lot of the, the wind out of his sails where you wouldn't see Ritson doing that because he throws his shot so correctly when he throws the combinations. He's got great technique, hasn't he? And like I say, at 23 years old, he's only going to get better. He steps in so nicely with a jab as well. Oh. He doesn't just flick it out, does he? He really steps in with a jab. <laughs> I wouldn't mind when you when, when you speak to Lewis I would say the ring he's such a lovely lovely lad you, you, he's he's up there with the Tom Whitfields of the world the, the, the nice guys of boxing but when Spite, he gets in spikes, there one spiteful guy isn't he inside oh. the ring but if you're going to get to the top you have to have that Boxers touch gloves after two rounds it looked like it might not have lasted six but they've just toned it down a little bit there or Lewis has toned it down a little bit and it's uh it's been it's, it's been good action without a doubt I think it's clear to say that Lewis got the better of those five, five first five rounds yeah but, but, like but, you say but, though what he's, he's, Young's not He's, still, He's certainly not making that. Still next game, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Every, every time Lewis throws his shots in threes and fours, this looks fantastic. It's really fine. If he throws a combination of four, at least three will hit the of target. Course. Yeah. It's just the art of combination punching. The opponent just hasn't got time to simply react to all the punches to come from the different angles, so there's bound to be an opening somewhere. Well, that's the thing. It's, you know, in terms of technical, you know, being really technical with your box and you're looking to bob, weave, move the head, block on the way through to get into range so you can let those combinations go. And, you know, at times, you know, Lewis would be critical of himself. His team's been critical where he, he's taking more shots than he needs to take. But because he can take those shots to get into the pocket and then he lands those three or four solid shots all consecutively after each other I guess the worry would be when he does come across a really heavy handed puncher which he probably hasn't as of yet and if he has to face Barrett I don't think he's the heaviest of punchers either but when, when Lewis does come up against a, a real big puncher can he still take the shots that he that he does take but but saying that he, he has taken far less today yeah we've seen some nice nice defensive work from him which we didn't necessarily see in his last fight you've also got to remember it's a it's a, it's a it's it's not a fight. It's a tr it's it's a competitive training exercise. Yeah. And uh, I think both men came out with credit. Both men will be happy with what they take back to the gym after that as well. Oh, and ding ding. Oh. But these two guys from round one all the way through, it was. Yeah. The start.
Well done, Dave. <laughs> 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 Sorry. 